Hi, Cozy family. I'm so happy to be here this week. I'm so happy. I need this break. I need this this us time. I need this tonkatsu farm time. I need miso. I need poo. I'm so happy to be doing this today. And welcome to, to new people. There's been a few new people commenting saying that they've been catching up. So hello, welcome. Mm, what, what do we have here? We have dumb animal names. We have dumb questions. We bully Elliot. What else, y'all? What else do we do here? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what, what we do. Only thing I have today, I promise it's the only thing. Look at this beauty. Ah! <laughs> Isn't she so cute? Look at the little strawberries and blueberries. And she's huge and she's so fluffy. Just look, look, look at this fluff. Look at that squish. That's like squishier than a squishmallow. Not saying something. It's in the name, squishmallow. This is squishy. That's all I have. Cheers. Boop. Let's get in. To it. So we are we are basically waiting on the f the goat to just be nice to me and give me a large goat milk. That's what we're waiting on. We also we got whose birthday is it? Caroline's and then what's that? Festival of Ice. Okay, we don't really have to worry about that that much. We also got a seed maker. That's not that that would walk. We can do that. What noise was that? I don't know, but we can do that. We can do that. And we got iridium sprinkler, but we don't have any iridium at all. And I don't remember what else we got. Something else. But the important things were the seed maker. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Oh my god. We have a gold bar. You know what we might not have? Coal. We never have coal. Why would we have it now? We have exactly 10. Do I waste it on this? It wouldn't be wasting. It would be a valid use of coal, right? Somebody say yes. Yay! Clint wants me to take an amethyst to Emily. So I guess we'll do that. I guess, I guess we'll do that. I guess. Come on, Pooh. Let's go, Pooh. I get all common mushrooms way too often and I would like to file an official complaint to whomever handles that sort of complaint i have one look at my little winter crops growing doesn't that look so weird my gosh crops in the winter it's sinful it's not right where's the pail where did i put the pail uh-oh we'll have to figure that mystery out later the pail's not in here where's my pail uh-oh Ah, uh, there's my pale mystery solved. Let's go, Pooh. I wish there was some kind of elixir or, I don't know, like kind of extra food you could buy that makes your, your animals give you large versions of that thing. Wouldn't that be great? I just realized I don't have my cow headphones on. Hold on, that's an abomination. It's been remedied. Take my stupid fan. Come on, Pooh. Gunther didn't give us anything for that. How rude. Did I already get this trash can? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A diamond and a herring? I didn't even have time to process a diamond. Are we having amazing luck? Is that what this is? Are we having the best luck ever? Oh, cutscene! Oh my god, this is my favorite cutscene. Yes, girl. Get it. Uh, get it. Muiwa. Muiwa. Is that what she's saying, or is she going, ma? What is she saying? Nonsense, because it's a dream. Why are you here? The rainbows. Oh my god. Happy pride, y'all. <laughs> that reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. Emily, are you okay? Now, I know why you're here. It's a sign. <laughs> She's crazy. She's not okay. Yeah, that was me 
just evaporating. I said, because <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> Get me out of her dreams, y'all. I don't know what this crazy lady's on. No, for real though, I love Emily for this. My favorite cutscene. There's something special about Ken. Our destinies will intersect. Um... Yeah, in friendship, because I'm keeping my safe distance, girly pop. But here's your amethyst. You and Clint have fun. <laughs> it's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it <laughs> I'm dead. Clint said, give this to Emily for me. And she said, from who? Where? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I love you. I'm gonna have more weird dreams about you. Is that okay? I'll take it, Emily. You're eccentric, but in the best way. Okay, poo poo. Stay there. That's a question I would love to hear, actually, is what are y'all's favorite cutscenes? What is your favorite cutscene that you think back on and you're like, dang, I would have experienced that all over again. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Oh my God, finally some coal. Thank you so much. I'm gonna collect some stones on the other side of these big big boys i'm also gonna cut some wood because i'm losing all of my wood to this house upgrade and i'm definitely gonna need more for something oh my goodness look at this area i've just been neglecting it this is unacceptable all right we cleaned up a bit we did we did all right poo poo it's an early night for us get some sleep hit the hay you did good today you did good you done good. That's what I should say, because that's grammatically incorrect. It's you've you've done well today. You know what that is. That's a house upgrade. And it's Sunday, so oh it's Caroline's birthday. Plum pudding. Ooh. I'm itching to have a kitchen. I have so many recipes. Okay, so today let's get oh, what is it? What is it, Pierre? First year in Stardew Valley is almost over. <gasps> Don't remind me, I'm not ready yet. If you keep buying seeds for me, you'll be twice as productive next year. And I have exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Oh, and another thing. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Pierre, seeds are the highest quality seed you'll find anywhere. That's a promise. Pierre, you don't have to be weird to me. I'm already a loyal customer because I hate Jojo Mart and capitalism. <laughs> I also want to know how many of you play Animal Crossing or did play Animal Crossing and are like absolutely just have not touched it because that's where I am. And the fishing competition made me think of how obsessed I was like the first fishing competition in Animal Crossing I was obsessed like it was like an like I literally spent the whole day on it however long CJ is on that island I was on that island for all day and I was just so invested I don't even know why like I, I see some people saying that they were invested because you know their friends were playing it and they wanted to keep with them, up with their friends or their peers and that's not that was not my reality my motivation in it was not just to keep up with the joneses it wasn't that it was literally just like loving the game oh i did not mean to eat a raw freaking egg what what anyways i'm curious why y'all feel like you grew out of it or the game's just not as engaging because i've heard people say that they were very very engaged with new leaf and always will be it never gets old and i've never played new leaf and if you're not an animal crossing person at all new leaf is the one that came before it on the ds and i i just it's so interesting that when time passes and games get further on in their franchise they tend to get less like they have less soul almost that's how i feel with sims 4 it seems like the same is going for animal crossing it's like are they cutting corners for what like so that they can do more add-ons i just i don't understand anyways so let me know what y'all think <laughs> about animal crossing why you think it has Less je, je, je ne sais quoi, you know. 
as the people say because i don't think it's ju i don't think it's just recent games or like some people are like i think it's <gasps> oh my god this is the closest we've been this is the closest we've been and i'm on a horse oh bitch oh bitch i would have been even closer if i didn't dilly dally with those berries it's okay come on come on <gasps> it just started come on get me something good yes some stones okay okay i will take it i will take the stones free stones give me some 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 grass who am i shane wrote that no grass okay okay we just got some stones okay so we just got some stones like how many seven stones sometimes the train kind of trolls you but you know what it's free it's free what the hell is that <gasps> leprechaun shoes did that come off the train what okay it's definitely worse than the shoes that i have but i just want leprechaun shoes on that's amazing okay so some seven stones and leprechaun shoes i'll take it oh my goodness another cutscene. Viola, my newest creation. It's a deluxe four poster bed crafted from the finest local hardwood. Oh, this is because I gave her the hardwood. And she's like, oh, now you can buy it from me. Um, Robin, what's the point of the four posts? It seems like an inefficient use of materials. Demetrius, you're so practical. It's called beauty, but you know, that thing most people find enjoyable. He's like, I don't understand. He's an INTJ. Hmm, I see your point, but we can't let that outweigh the utility and efficiency of the sleep receptacle. You know, sometimes it feels like you're being deliberately obtuse just to irritate me. Is that what you're doing? Ooh. Hey, Ken, come in. Ooh, some marital problems. Check this out. It's the bed I was able to make thanks to all the wood you gathered. So what do you think? The four posts seem... <gasps> Whose side do we take? Oh my gosh. I'll go with aesthetic. It's true to my, to my soul, my spirit. Ooh, Sebastian was on her side. <laughs> well, if anyone needs me, I'll be in the doghouse. Ha <laughs> ha. Now that I have a prototype, I can start selling them in the shop. These might look good in your place, Ken. What do you say? Can we pencil you in for half a dozen? Half a dozen? <gasps> Girl, I'm about to buy a $10,000 upgrade. I ain't I don't got that. Yay! It should be finished in three days. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's 6000 I guess I, I like it. It's just not that cute, you know? Shoot, it's Caroline's birthday. I need to get her something. Let's see what she likes. I think she likes one of the things I'm holding. Yep, she likes a crocus. It's not in the store. Oh, she is. I'm stupid. Here you go. You're so welcome. She only likes it. She doesn't love it, so I'm not, I'm not expecting much. Okay, it's time for the traveling cart. The traveling cart makes me so excited, even though every single time except for when we got the octopus for that quest every time in the past like 10 let's plays we haven't gotten a good one a pike oh i have no money okay well i have no money so thank god otherwise i'd be upset that the one time we don't have money she's just loaded with stuff we want back to the back to the um video game conversation i feel like there's a lot of game talk around like games that have become a franchise and people will say maybe it's just that we've gotten older and games aren't the same and they don't hold our attention as much as they used to and i just fundamentally disagree because there's games like stardew that no matter how many times i play it a it doesn't get old it's not that i'm older and i have real life responsibilities to worry about no, because Stardew can hold my attention forever and ever with the same exact things. So I think it's just that the the mm -hmm. game loses its spark. It loses what, what made it special in the first place. Maybe because the original creators mm -hmm. got pushed out of, of it or left. I don't know. Same with Sims 2. I can play Sims 2. Oh, I finally got a fish on my farm. And watch me lose it. But I can play Sims 2 literally endlessly. All that for a herring? Okay. At least we got a fish on my farm. <gasps> Another one. A sardine. 
Also, y'all, I have to do a slightly shorter amount of days today because I do, in fact, need sleep. And I have, in fact, been at my desk for 12 hours today studying. But um, I'm gonna edit it a bit longer instead. So same amount of time, just less days. Just more of me yapping. I will talk a lot in these and I'll edit like a fourth of the things I'm saying out just because I'm like, I won't subject them to all of this to my whole brain, only some of the dumb things. Oh my God. No, I really want that one. <gasps> Do you think that was a, what's it, an eel maybe? Maybe it was an eel. I'm so, as soon as it gets hard, I'm, so bad like I lose all cool all sense of skill gone out the window okay I'm getting all these fish now that I wasn't getting before I'm not mad at it I'm not mad okay so I need to check on my animals first thing tomorrow morning and then go mm -hmm. to the ice fishing oh see I'm practicing my fishing for tomorrow okay Hopefully get a level up in fishing, maybe. I always eat, like, any of the hot flavored chips with chopsticks. I don't remember where I saw that first. Maybe, like, a life hack picture. I have never touched a dusty Cheeto, dusty Dorito. I said hot, but really, it's any of them. Any of the dustier chips have not touched one since I heard of that hack and it's the best one ever so if you aren't using it get on it good night poo good night y'all okay what I say animals fishing animals smoking the whole town and fishing see look at that all the flavor none of the gross dusty fingers no look at my fencing oh that means we're gonna have to replace like all of it soon I really need to put a shipping box down here Sometimes the winter music does scare me. I'm gonna be honest with you. This one terrifies me a little bit. I feel like I'm in Blade Runner or something. And I don't think I'm wrong for that. I don't think I'm wrong for that. All right, Poo. It's time for the fishing competition. Let's do this. Yay! Y'all see who that is? I do. What's he gotta say? I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? It's rare that really e Willy ever loses though. Okay, he gets a pass today. He gets a pass. Nothing too annoying. What is this? What is this? No, no, no. I need you to know that that's me clicking the, bu the button. Okay, 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 wow. Oh, I want one, no. I would have gotten this so quickly without a second thought, without a second thought, I'm telling you. Of course I'm entering. Cold, nah, I never get cold. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. You know what, Shane? That was your first good idea. Wife dragged me out in the cold for this. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball in this very festival. He was a gentleman back then and came over to see if I was okay. Well, I hope so. Is that him being a gentleman? The bar is on the floor. And George is just grumbling about it. The snow is so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. I don't. I think I don't like Pierre. Hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? A classic one, carrot nose, top hat, scarf. Something funky. Icicle, antennas, pine cone eyes. Snowmen are boring, think outside of the box. That's what I'm going for. Uh, okay, I think I might stick with something more conventional. <laughs> she said, no, you're overwhelming me, sis. Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Gulp. Clint is, Clint might be a problem. I think Clint is a problem. He's one of those men that takes any single act of kindness as for some reason you hitting on him and then he'll end up like stalking you and be like, well, you said thank you to me at the grocery store. So I assumed that meant that you love me and that like now we're in a relationship so I don't understand why can't I be in your house right now? That's what Clint is giving right now. Especially, especially because Emily was just like, where'd you get this from? Who? Oh, okay, I don't care. She's not interested. 
and Clint's being a weirdo. I don't like it. I always saw Clint as a sweet, sweet man. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Wow, the snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? <gasps> She came over because the snowman was ugly and he's probably like hiding behind the snowman like <laughs> Like it's too awkward to just start a conversation. He's just like if she talks to me, it means she loves me. That's what's happening. Poor Emily. You know what? I might marry her in this save just to save her. I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Ooh. Okay, Pam. We'll see. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress. So make sure to bundle up. Heart. Oh my gosh, you care about my well-being. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Oh, stop it. Stop it, you. A glue buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. That was many years ago. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier to just stay in my tent year-round. See, Linus is God. He has a vast history, a vast presence on this earth that we'll never understand. Where's my hole? Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here from the holes in the ice. Well, everyone's ready? Yes, where do I go? Begin! Okay. I had a little bit of a- I had a little bit of a unfair start there, I'm gonna be honest. I wonder if it counts as your fishing skill and you get a perfection bonus because- mm -hmm. Alright, luck is in my favor this time around. What the heck? Okay. If I don't win, I'm suing because I definitely got more than anyone there. I saw, I saw. Now for the winner. <laughs> Yay! Here's your prize, enjoy. <gasps> so many prizes. Oh my gosh, the little sailor's hat. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release those poor fish. Yay! Did I put the fishing hat on? I think I do. I mean, the sailor's cap. <gasps> Stop. I'm the captain now. Oh, look, she's working on my house. Thanks, Curly Pop. Come on, Pooh. Okay, this will be... <gasps> oh, I have to go to bed. <laughs> like, in real life, this will be the last day I do. <laughs> I was gonna make yesterday the last day, but then I got invested in this day already, okay? An hour's past, I'm invested. I need to finish it. I need to see it through. What are we thinking? Is today the big day? Is today the big day? No. It's okay. Take your time. I respect you in, in the timeline that you're on. Okay, I think I'll fix those, uh... I'll fix those fences today. All right. Oh no. No! Why am I an idiot? Okay, that one's fixed. Let's head on over. Oh wait. There we go. Wait, 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 did that just happen? Did anybody see that happen? Or did I miss it? That was scary. Wait, this one too. Are they just all gonna slowly do this while I'm mid activity of fixing the fencing? They're just breaking down around me. Okay, the rest are good. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Okay. What is our next goal? That is really important. So we have the big barn. We have the my house upgrade, which will give me a kitchen. But what do we need next? Should I just be gathering materials for stuff generally? Just in case, you know, rocks and trees. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here in the quarry and just gather materials. So BRB. Because it's boring. Also, someone else said that they had found a prismatic shard in the quarry. And now, ooh, secret note. And now, I feel like I gotta break all these rocks because one of them might be a prismatic shard. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Ooh, another secret note. All right, no prismatic shard. Ooh. I think that's one of those specific date and time ones. 
I don't remember what that one is either. It's okay, that's what we have the wiki for. So someone, I think it was Angelica. Hi girl, glad you're done with your studies. You mentioned feeling like you're not playing the game right. I did respond to you and kind of say this, but there's no right way to play Stardew. And that's the beauty of it. That's why I love it. That's why I keep coming back to it because every time I come back to it, I play it a slightly different way and realize which ways to play make me the happiest and the, the most at ease and the most comforted and which ways make me feel the most challenged and I don't know, well-versed in the Stardew world. There's no right way to play it and there's no specific timeline you need to be on. You don't have to min-max anything if you don't want to. Look at these fences. I turn my eye for one second. Yeah, just that's just to say don't look at what I'm doing. Don't look at what other people have. Don't whatever, look outside of your own game experience and think that you're not playing it right because you are you're playing it right just by playing and if that takes you you know the first three years of the game to figure out how to play and figure out what works best for you then that's totally fine that's totally fine definitely do not think of stardew as like a i need to be the best i need to be the very best you don't you don't you just play it to have fun and wind down and that's perfect you can do that however you want to do it. and that's my little spiel that's my little starter spiel thank you so much for watching i know we did one last day today <gasps> uh, what what did that mean we'll never know oh new achievement moving up awesome <gasps> oh because my my bedroom <gasps> i can't wait to cook look at this look at this <gasps> I have a fridge. I can make things. Oh my gosh. Just call me the queen of sauce. Thank you so much for watching. Stay cozy. I love you. Hopefully I'll catch you at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today playing Bear Fair. If not, I'll see you next week, next Sunday for the next Let's Play. Bye. See you next week.